Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again, and today's video is going to be fairly short and to the point because it's not really about a build or a guide or anything, it's just more about Vault Fireball. So recently I took up a Fireball challenge, not really a challenge, just, you know, thinking about the next build. Fireball's name was thrown around a few times and it decided to make a Fireball build. So this is essentially the Crit Elementalist Fireball build I've made and it just so happens that sticking um, Vile Fireball on a 3 link in this build actually clears insanely fast and if you want to build around Vile Fireball more specifically with something like an Elementalist and just massive clear speed you definitely can because there's no real strict requirements on this guy to make Vile Fireball as good as it is all you really need is to be an Elementalist to um, well in this case I'm crit and fire based and yeah just um, press your Vile Fireball in big open spaces and you're going to be clearing maps insanely fast so I've been averaging three 400 million an hour just by clearing um, level appropriate enough maps and all kinds of different ones. Uh, Vile Fireball does not take very many souls to charge up, I think it's only 64. So you start out a map with just a few fireballs and eventually you get rolling into the madness that is Vile Fireball, which basically feels like a different version of Vile Spark. If, um, you know, you love the clear speeds get lots of attack speed, then you'll just be able to charge through everything. And it's just a lot easier to build because you don't have to use any um, any expensive jewels um, or too many gear thresholds to hit. I have something like 50 crit on my Vile Fireball. It's not very hard to achieve. The gear itself, all very cheap, except for the Dying Sun Flask, which I assure you is not at all a requirement for the build, and it's just strictly quality of life at this point, and doesn't really even add too much to the Vile Fireballing. But I'll talk more about what this character is, how it's built, uh, what goes into it rather soon, hopefully in the next video, as I figure out more about this character. If you wanted to make something like this just purely for the best possible purposes for yourself, you probably do want to go CI. I'm trying to make somewhat of a life hybrid thing work, because I don't want to just strictly make nothing but CI characters. And um, yeah, CI, you could even go low life. You can go pure life like me. Uh, I have a bit of an ES buffer though. And when you don't have Vile Fireball, well, Regular Fireball works pretty well too. As you can see, this is my first Atiri on this character, and we're steamrolling. But there's also the Fireball MTX, and that just ruins lives, as I'll show you right now. Just real quick, I'll show you exactly what it takes to set something like this up, and what's important in this Vile Fireball sort of setup that I'm telling you to run for pure clear speed. Uh, it's just some sort of elementalist. This is Elemental Conflux, or the new Elemental Conflux, if you haven't seen it yet. So you used to have an on-kill effect. Now it's every 14 seconds, you rotate through a 4-second buff three times, and then a 2-second buff. So you get Chilling for 4 seconds, you get um, Ignite for 4 seconds, and Shock for 4 seconds, and then for 2 seconds, all three at once. And this is actually pretty damn good. So Conflux... Um, while it may look nerfed, this is actually better in some cases, especially on boss fights, and perfectly fine, so Elemental is still a very good choice. Um, that comboed with your Prolif means every single stray Vile Fireball that's firing out will hit really hard, and probably crit, probably shock, ignite, chill, whatever, and then Prolif and kill an entire pack. That's why it's so strong. And that's all you really need for this combo to work. Besides that, I am just crit based and spec'd. I do have plenty of area nodes. Um, that's important for the explosions of the fireball. And as well, we're running two rolling flames jewels. Two is all I could really justify in my build, because you do need to have the int requirements. And I don't think you need any more than two. But if you really want, you could fit a third one in, I'd say. Any more than that is very much overkill. So the further things travel, the more area it gets, up to about 50%, meaning Vile Fireball will quite a lot of the time have 50% area while flying around, hitting the furthest monsters away from you. Gear, very simple. Uh, we're looking at an Infernal Mantle. That's where our 5 link for Fireball is set up at the moment, and that is Fireball, Fire Pen, Control Destruction, Crit Damage, and Pierce, because uh, we're basically going for all kinds of um, single target, 
burn damage there. Pierce, we've only got 50% chance to pierce right now, so it sometimes pierces and will eventually explode. And I'm running a triple, or you know, three proj when Dying Sun's up. So some of them pierce, some of them explode, it makes for a decent effect. If you don't have a Dying Sun, just probably get rid of pierce and use um, LMP. Not a problem. Now, the actual Vile Fireball setup, in the video, most of the time, it was just Fire Pen and Echo. So Echo cast it twice, giving you twice the effectiveness. Fire Pen, you need that for your um, resist penetration. And I started to use increased crit strikes now as well, so it's on a 4-link, but for the most part, the 3-link is all you need. And that's the deeps. The rest of the gear is very basic. You can look up the character um, Balls of Girth if you want. Some Face Breakers, Crit Dagger whatever running seven league steps because i can for now and a spell damage shield diamond fast goes a long way too so i'll have more about this character in the future but for now that's just some vile fireball action get onto it if you really feel like it it's been very fun and quick leveling this character um done plenty of shopping plenty of bullshitting around about 17 hours to hit 85 so far averaging two three four hundred million xp per hour depending on the map so that's it for this one um thank you very much for watching hopefully i'll have more about this character soon and see you guys next